Маганда, ну мага, майон бунта, good morning and доброе утро, my friends. Uh, today I would like to tell you about a wonderful event that brought me to the Philippines for the first time. I believe in God and very often I notice how he takes care of me arranging events in my life so that it all benefits me guys and here is uh, one such event that helped me to learn about the philippines for the first time i would like to tell you today about it you know guys it was uh, 10 years ago at that time i was on raw food diet that is i ate only raw fruits and vegetables because i considered it healthy in russia of course uh, it is very difficult to eat like this because it is cold here and uh, very few fruits grow so i decided to fly to warmer countries uh, where there is a lot of fruits and uh, good weather and uh, that that time i like to read travel bloggers stories about <clears throat> they travels in Southeast Asia or rather in Thailand. I hadn't even heard about the Philippines at that time. They told me what beautiful nature, sea, fruits are in Thailand. And uh, I decided to fly there. And uh, not just on vacation for a while, but uh, right for life. I barely saved up money for tickets and uh, for the first time of my life I flew. Being in Thailand for the first time, of course, it is, was uh, very surprised for me. I've never been to Asia before and uh, everything was new for me then. I swam in the sea for the first time, tasted mango and young coconut for the first time, and saw live monkeys on the street for the first time. I found a small town by the sea and lived there for two months. But I didn't feel at home there. I wasn't comfortable. The locals uh, were kind to me, but uh, they still kept their distance and um, often didn't even seem to notice me. And so I wondered what I should do next. You know guys, I didn't have money for a return ticket to Russia. And I didn't really want to return. I didn't want to stay in Thailand either. I was uh, already tired of everything there and I felt bad there. And uh, I began to pray to God as I could at that moment and uh, I just trusted him like a little child to his father and uh, was sure that God would arrange everything in the best way in my life. And uh, after a while I get a message. Andrei, I'm reading your travel blog and I want to invite you to our hotel in the Philippines where travelers from Russia gave And I thought, wow, 
it must be very cool to live together with like-minded people in a warm country and uh, eat delicious ripe fruits all year round. Thank you, God, for taking care of me. But I had never heard of the Philippines and didn't even know where this country was. It uh, turned out that it was only three and a half hours to fly from Thailand to the Philippines. And uh, I immediately bought uh, plane tickets from uh, Bangkok to Manila and from Manila to Davao. And when I arrived Read in Davao and go to Samal Island, I immediately felt like at home. The people there were very kind, open and friendly. Very beautiful nature and a huge amount of ripe fruit. I settled in a Russian hotel on the Samal Island and live there for a whole year. And you know guys, it was probably the happiest year of my life. I thank God that he brought me to the Philippines and uh, showed me how kind people can be to each other. By the way, we are still friends with the person who invited me to the Philippines. It was Valentina, which you already know if you watched my previous videos from Samal Island. A year later, I had to return to Russia, but this Worms of the Philippines has already settled in my heart forever. And I have always longed to return there. But uh, it turned out only after many years. And I hope it will turn out again this fall, I hope in October. I pray to God about it. Guys, salamat for watching, salamat for subscribing, salamat for your comments. You, rem you always remember me, how kind, how warm-hearted, how open uh, Filipino people be. Okay, guys, salamat at in God.